In this video, I want to show you how to deploy applications to Android devices. Um, there's uh, a little bit of, uh, it's a little easier, I think, to uh, deploy to Android devices than it is to uh, do so for the iOS devices. And in fact, um, I find the uh, the Android emulator to be extremely slow, so and I find it actually easier to deploy uh, to a device and to test on a device rather than uh, deploying to an Android emulator. So whenever I do that, uh, for instance, for the Kindle Fire or for other Android devices, um, I like to um, deploy, deploy and test directly on the Android device. So I want to show you how to do that here in... Uh, in this uh, in this video, um, it's a fairly straightforward process. Um, we're going to need to start by using something called the uh, the Key Store um, application, which comes with uh, a lot of the Java distributions, the, the Java JDK, for instance, uh, which is something you do need in order to uh, to use the um, Titanium. Uh, system anyway. Um, so uh, one of the other things I like to use for my deployment um, to d these devices is to use the, uh, the Dropbox uh, system. So I'm going to deploy um, everything to um, the Android directory on Dropbox that I've, that I've created. Um, there are obviously other ways that you could do this, but I think that this is the easiest way to go about it. Um, so you will need to have uh, Dropbox installed and you'll need to create a directory on that. Uh, um, otherwise, uh, what you'll need is some web space somewhere. So you'll want to take uh, the files that are generated through this process, put it onto a website, and then download it, um, download the file onto your device um, from that website. Okay, so uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to use the key tool to generate a um, a key. So I'm going to, again, um, I want to, to uh, make sure that my application ID matches the application ID I'm going to use for my, um, uh, for my signing certificate on Android. Um, so let me first start by generating the, um, the certificate. Um, and I'm going to use key tool to do this. And then I'm going to generate the key. Uh, in verbo verbose mode, and then the key store that I'm creating, this file that I'm creating is going to be, I'm going to match this up with the um, uh, with the app ID that I want to use. I'm going to call this summercamp.hw. And then I'm going to create an alias for my program. I'm just going to call it hello world, which is called hw. And then use the RSC key algorithm and then set the validity for the um, for this certificate to uh, 10,000 days um, and then I just need to hit return now this is going to ask me a number of different questions um, that I need to fill in um, so uh, I need to give a password um, so whatever password you want to use um, Oh, sorry, I need to actually, before I do this, remove my other key store. Okay, I'm going to try again. Okay, so give a password, uh, my name, and Mobile Learning Center, Miami. US and this is correct so I'll type in yes uh, and then I need to give another password so I'm just going to use the same password actually I could just use return for this okay so now my key store has been created um, if I do that you will see that it's uh, it's been created in this directory okay so I need to know what this directory is because I'm going to need that for um, uh, what I need to do in Titanium. 
Um, so let me move on to the next part here. Uh, I need to change my application ID to match the one that I used before. So summercamp.hw. Um, let me save that file. And now what I can do is I'm going to do a distribute to the Android App Store um, using um, that created. Uh, I need to give a place for where I'm going to uh, uh, write this file out. And I'm just going to put this into my Dropbox screen. Again, if you don't use, if you don't currently you do so. Okay, so I'm going to put it into that directory. Um, my key store is located in that same directory. Um, is this one here, the summer camp. And then I need to give the password I use. And then the key alias that I alias was just HW okay now when I click on publish here what's going to happen is it's going to um, compile my program and it's going to put that program into that directory that I specified uh, on my Dropbox folder um, this is for the compile to happen so I just need to wait for it So the last step has been uh, written to that directory is uh, we're going to need to browse to it with, um, uh, with our device. And I'm going to try this in the emulator, see if it works. But So we'll show this in the file system. Zoom over that appears. So it's called hello world.apk. Um, so that's the file that I'm going to want to load onto my device. Um, so if I'm using, and let's try this. So if I'm using my Android device, and here I'm using just an emulator, we do need to make sure that uh, we have unknown sources selected. Uh, this typically is found under um, uh, applications, under settings. Actually, if we go under settings, applications and then um, here it is so unknown sources so on your Android device it may vary it'll look something similar to that okay so the last piece that I need to do here is I need to actually load this um, I, let me do one more thing here let me make sure that I don't have hello world on here already it looks like I do so I need to remove that um, Actually, I haven't done, this isn't the right way to do it. Let me, I need to completely uninstall it, which is more than just throwing it in the trash can. I need to go to Applications, Manage Applications, and, and I'm not sure if this, uh, what I'm about to try to do here is going to work exactly on the emulator. We'll see if it does. So install it. So we're gonna, we're gonna need to log into uh, Dropbox in order for this to work. Uh, on my Android device, um, I actually have the Dropbox app installed, and so I can just download it directly. Um, but here we're gonna have to go through the uh, the web app. going to ask me to log in. Okay, so do this. Type my password on off screen here.
It's going to take a moment. It's still loading the page. Okay, so there's my Android directory. And, th and this will go a lot faster on your device if you have Dropbox installed. Um, the, uh, the emulator runs it a little bit slowly. Uh, again, one of the reasons I don't like to use the emulator, emulator is for this very fact that it is actually very slow. Okay, let's uh, scroll to our Hello World program. And... Where is it? Seems to not have been, oh, it's not synchronized with, I didn't synchronize Dropbox, I just here, just hold on one moment. Okay, let's see if it's here now. It still doesn't seem to have synchronized, but anyway, so you get the point that uh, uh, you can just you can basically go onto um, Dropbox or whatever else, uh, whatever their whatever other web space you have, and uh, use that to, to download the app. Uh, trust me, it does actually go much faster on the device than it does in the emulator. Um, I really find the, the Android emulators to be quite slow. Um, and they don't always, uh, um, they don't work in the, uh, in the quickest of time. So anyway, so that's the, the basic process. Again, you create your key store uh, using the, uh, the key, tool, um, key tool program. Um, and then use the... Uh, uh, use the distribute um, to App Store um, that will generate a file use that file uh, and can download that file um, uh, to your device directly to your device using uh, using Dropbox or some other similar kind of uh, tool oh, oh here it is hello world and click on that it'll download it um, and then it'll do an install Actually, if I here, so it's doing a download. Eventually, that'll uh, once it gets downloaded, we can run it. Okay, and it'll ask me a question if I want to actually install it. And then it should run. So anyway, so that's what it's going to look like uh, when you do it on your uh, on your device, and it, it'll actually do this exact same thing where you'll run it and then it'll. Um, so anyway, that completes this video.